Hello, my name is Fritz Kao, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Fritz Kao Vids. I make lots of different types of videos on various different types of subjects, most controversial. Topic of discussion today is in portals. Thanks for watching, and as always, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Behold, a gateway to your own past, if you wish. A favorite theme of science fiction is the portal, an extraordinary opening in space or time that connects travelers to distant realms. If only they actually existed. It turns out that they do, sort of. They're places where the magnetic field of Earth connects to the magnetic field of the Sun, creating an uninterrupted path leading from our own planet to the Sun's atmosphere 93 million miles away these magnetic portals open and close dozens of times each day. Most portals are small and short-lived. Others are yawning, vast, and sustained. Magnetic portals are invisible, unstable, and elusive. They open and close without warning, and there are no signposts to guide us in, notes Scudder. Actually, there are signposts, and Scudder has found them. Portals form via the process of magnetic reconnection. Mingling lines of magnetic force from the Sun and Earth crisscross and join to create the openings. X points are where the crisscross takes place. And with the new signposts, we know how to find them. Most portals are small and short-lived. Others are yawning, vast, and sustained. Energetic particles can flow through the openings, heating Earth's upper atmosphere, sparking geomagnetic storms, and igniting bright polar auroras. NASA is planning a mission called MMS, short for Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission, due to launch in 2014 to study the phenomenon. In essence, these are wormholes in space. Pyramids have long been associated with being used as stargates for pharaohs after death. Pyramids can focus Earth's vibrational energies towards their apex into a beam. On some level, pyramids seem to operate like giant radio receivers. The word pyramid comes from the prefix pyre, meaning fire, and the suffix mid, meaning middle. When combined together, they form the concept fire in the middle.
based on science and technology with formidable technological powers. Right. And if we don't understand it, and by we I mean the general public, then who is making all the decisions about science and technology that uh, are going to determine what kind of future our children live in? Just uh, some members of Congress? But there's no more than a handful of members of Congress with any background in science at all. And this combustible mixture of ignorance and power, sooner or later, is going to blow up in our faces. I mean, who is running the science and technology in a democracy if the people don't know anything about it?